Good morning, folks. We've got the continuing solar uptick, more solar flares, and a look at a potentially dangerous sunspot. We'll hit a bit of weather and look at two articles as well, a sunspot forecast and a cold blast from the past. But we start with our star. We find eruptive activity and solar flares continuing. Once again, the CME production was not aimed at Earth, but we are at the crest of the hill in terms of sunspot maximum, and it's showing. Good news is that the coronal hole solar wind has been minor only with KP4 geomagnetic conditions reached. Solar flares reaching level 2 radio blackout status. Couple more M-class events the last day and we can watch those here in 131 angstroms as the flashes of light. Biggest of the events are still coming from the northern departing active region sunspots but there are obviously several others turning in as well. Peak flare the last day was in the M5 range and it was impulsive. Here's what the sunspot situation looks like at the moment. The most concerning active region is the largest and most complex one just north of the equator set to face Earth directly tomorrow. The opposing polarity umbra in the center are developing into delta-class magnetism and will be the primary place to watch for more activity that could become geo-effective. We'll have eyes on all of that, including the plasma filaments on the south, which have remained impressively stable over the last few days. Hopefully that continues today. Time for a bit of weather up next. People are stranded in the California mountains as record snow pounded the region. Officials say it could be a week before they get them supplies or are able to get them out. The record event hit Arizona as well. We've got an interesting forecast of sunspots up next as this crew believes the peak of the sunspot cycle in about a year or two will actually be about twice as strong as it is now. That would make for a modestly strong sunspot cycle and they predict even more for the next cycle. To be clear, there is always a wide range of solar forecast predictions and this one team has come out and said nope, no grand solar minimum now or next cycle. Last but not least, the Helena Poly magnetic excursion 18,000 years ago is the most well-studied of the half-cycle events, and this paper confirms the cooling that set in right after that. Didn't last long, but it was fairly severe, and is another check in the box for the impact of the 6,000 and 12,000 year cycles from the magnetic changes to Earth. If you missed it yesterday, our Rumble channel is now live. It won't have these daily shows, but it will have things we can't really talk about on YouTube. Join Rocky and I for our first episode at the link below the video. And also don't forget, time is running out to grab your tickets to Buffalo and San Diego. The rest of our Spring Blitz tour is sold out. Can't wait to see you guys out there. We greatly appreciate your support. Again, the links to Rumble and much, much more is found in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.